Welcome back to the GCB Mindset Channel. Today, we will talk about what every investigator should learn to be well-trained for a clinical trial. More after the intro. The conduct of clinical studies on humans can only be justified if they are ethically appropriately planned, accomplished, evaluated, and reported scientifically. In the field of clinical research, national laws, international guidelines, and their implementation have been under continuous development in the past few years. It is important that all persons involved in a clinical study comply with these regulations and quality standards in order to obtain reliable study results, especially the investigators. A training should be a practical guide and clarify ordinary issues and misunderstandings and should give an investigator more than the basics of clinical trials. The objective of a training is to provide competence in legal, ethical, and administrative, as well as scientific aspects of a clinical trial. But what topics should such training cover? First of all, it should be an introduction into the development of drugs and medical devices. It should clarify what clinical research means, what phases of development of new medicinal products exist, how the procedure of the approval works, the procedure of conformity assessment, classification of medical device laws and guidelines, and the basics of the evaluation of clinical data. Second, it should include the basics of biometrics, different study designs and sample size calculation. For example, what is causality, correlation, coincidence? What are crossover studies or multi-arm studies? A biometric module of a training should ensure that non-statisticians understand the approach of different study designs and the principle of sample size calculation. Thirdly, the declaration of Helsinki and the GCP guidelines should be part of the training of an investigator. You can find more videos about these topics here. A fourth point of a training should be GCP definitions and the important GCP documents. What is the study protocol? How do you work with an investigator's brochure and with case report forms? What is an ethics committee and which qualification requirements are mandatory for investigators? A fifth point, all investigator responsibilities should be explained. What are the basic rules of an investigator that they have to follow? For example, who and when should give signatures on documents? How does electronic data capture work? What is a statement of informed consent? What is the ALCOA concept? What is a quality insurance and quality control? What are the responsibilities of the sponsor? And what are audits? A sixth part, an investigator should know about the inspections and the reporting of safety-related events. For example, what is the content of an inspection? What are critical findings? What is an adverse drug reaction and an adverse event or a serious adverse event? How does SUSAR reporting work? Lastly, an investigator should be up to date with current legislations and regulations on clinical trials depending on the country he or she is working in. We hope you got an interesting overview about the topics an investigator should be trained on. Don't forget, a well-trained investigator will not only decrease complications in the clinical trials, but will also improve patient safety. See you next time on the GCP Mindset Channel. Hey there! Don't forget, like and subscribe. But most importantly, click that bell so you never miss another video.